In this stanza, grade 12s, I just want to talk to you a little bit about rhythm. The questions that you get in your poetry concern how rhythm underlines or enhances or adds to or contributes to meaning. So if we read that first line in the stanza, the wagons quickened on the streets, you can see that the vowel sounds in wagons, a and a, quickened, e, e, and two is there, quickened, off on the streets. So the pace is quick. The rhythm is quick. Why? It's quick because the action in that actual clause is quick. The wagons are hurrying to get to cover. The thunder, look at that repetition of that th, th sound, which would enhance the idea of that thunder. Hurried and slowed. Again, it's the pace. Sometimes the thunder sound quick and, and erratic, and then other times it's slowly rolled in. We see a dash. Why? Because we're moving from the thunder to another idea, same kind of um, content in the whole sentence about the weather. The lightning showed a yellow beak. This is personification of the lightning, that it's, it's some kind of animal with a huge yellow beak, um, almost like a bird of prey that's coming down to claw and then a livid claw, almost to claw at the land. So again, there's that wonderful imagery, um, this idea that the speaker is seeing this all at once and taking it all in. We are still with the notion that the storm is ominous, that the storm is a great threat. Remember in the first stanza, there was this word menace, which suggests that there is trouble brewing, that there is the possibility of damage and danger. So grade 12s, in this stanza, we see how the storm urges the animals to take cover. The unleashing of the storm is such that the animals know that they have to get shelter. So we see the speaker talks about the birds put up the bars to nests. Then there is a dash because we are moving to another animal. The cattle fled to barns. Now look at that verb fled. You don't often see cattle fleeing. Cattle are usually slow moving animals. But in this image, the speaker gives us this idea that the cattle are fleeing to get shelter, to get cover in their barns. Then there is a dash, which is creating a pause because in the next line, when we talk about um, a shift in pace, there came one drop of giant rain. Look at those vowel sounds, grade 12s. There came long A. One is a long sound. Drop of giant rain. Those are long vowel sounds. And we know that in the beginning of a storm, very often there are those single drops that come and they're huge before the mass of rain comes helter skeltering down. Do you see at the end of that third line in the stanza, there is no punctuation. It rolls onto the next line. Why? Because there's this continuation. Just so as those drops begin to fall, it continues and then as if the hands now, this is the first stanza where we do not see a full sentence. This stanza is going to be continued, the, the words of this sentence are going to be continued in the next stanza. So this is definitely a run-on line because it's that idea of the floodgates opening and this rain coming in helter-skelter. So there's this idea as if the hands that held back the rain are now opening up 